Michelle was always, uh, she was a strong-willed, determined kid, always. Wanted to go into broadcasting early on, like maybe fifth, sixth grade, she decided this is what she wanted to do, and she went after it. And that's how she always was. She graduated in three and a half years, and then had a, a job offer immediately. To see Michelle actually living her dream was awesome. We would watch it virtually every day. As long as we were close to a computer, we'd turn it on. Honestly. It makes you proud. Yeah, very proud. You know, yeah. I mean, all you want more than anything in life is for your kids to be happy. About 12.40, she gets up and says, Dad, I have a bad headache. So I said, I'm not going to take a chance. I, I told her, we're going to go to the hospital. And uh, on the way there, uh, she starts saying, Daddy, Daddy, and she's never, she hasn't called me Daddy for 15 years. And then she said, Daddy, I'm scared. I don't want to die. Dr. B came in and said, you know, you have to be ready, be ready to make a decision. He goes, you know, what do you want to do? It's your worst nightmare. Yeah, I mean, it can't be happening. You're just in total shock. This can't be happening. To have a patient that ill and take him through the whole process and having a successful endpoint was, was great. It's a great sense of satisfaction and great happiness to see somebody, you know, get, make such great recovery, you know. You know, Dr. B is an expert at what he does. We went, got to the right place and, uh, you know, the care and compassion that we were shown throughout the process was outstanding. I, I think we cared about Michelle as a patient. As, and as a person, and I think they cared for us. That even puts Theta Care above, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I think our Theta Care experience, we can't say enough good things about it. To be here today with all of us together is, it feels good. It feels really good. Thank you for everything. Because of the doctors and nurses, I'm alive. Thank you, thank you, thank you.